Have you ever had to present a topic that's been boring for you or for your audience? <laughs> of course you have, and I have myself. And today we're going to talk about that and how you liven up that boring presentation. What's going on, guys? I am Philip Sessions, your public speaking and communications strategy coach. And I'm here to talk to you about how to present a boring topic. So most of us are stuck in a corporate world setting or we're stuck where we have to speak on things that we are not excited about. And oftentimes, those become boring subjects for us. So it's inevitable that at some point, you are not going to be excited about a presentation that you have to give, whether it be the numbers like an accountant would be excited about, whether it's a tough conversation that you really have to have. It's not something that's sexy, like we hit a new sales record or we broke this record that we're talking about our favorite football team or where we're going to go out to eat. Those are things that are exciting to talk about. But every once in a while, a lot of times, we have to speak about things that are boring. They're business related and they're serious subjects. So how in the world can we make these a little bit more exciting? Well, first of all, you need to start with the why. Why are you presenting this topic in the first place? There's clearly got to be some importance to it. Hopefully, you're not like a lot of corporations where you just have meetings to have meetings, but you are actually in a meeting presenting for a reason. So really figure out what that why is. Just like with anything in life, if you have a purpose behind the reason why you're doing something, going through that struggle is a lot better because you have a why, you have a purpose behind that. If I have to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week, and I know that I'm feeding my family, I'm taking care of my family and my wife and my daughter, it's a lot easier to work seven days a week for 12 hours a day. But if everything's taken care of, I don't want anything new, it's very difficult to work that many hours, to work every single day. So you have to really know what that why is behind you presenting, behind you speaking on that certain subject. And this will really help you get a little bit more inspired and help you think of a different way rather than I'm just going to show you the data. I'm a robot. Here's the data. What do you think of the data? You're actually going with that why about the, the data to show the trends in how the company's going. Maybe you have to present on the fact that the company is in a downturn right now due to the economy, due to marketing, due to sales being down, due to the quality of your product, whatever it is, and you're having to present on that. It's kind of boring. It's kind of scary even to go present on something negative and hard to really liven that up. But if you give that why behind it, that you really care about this company and you care about the employees and you don't want to see the company fail, you don't want to see employees be laid off, and you go in there and you have that why, while you may not be excited and cheerful and smiling, you're still going to have a lot more energy because you are focused on the why, which is keeping that company going and giving that information so that the other leaders that are there to help make those decisions can make those decisions. And they're going to be a little bit more enthused to be able to talk about that and talk through that to figure out a solution. Because when you're bringing up subjects like that or other boring subjects, that's just data, that's just whatever it is, it is boring, but people realize that you need to talk about it. So figure out that why and go in with that in mind. Let your personality shine through is the next one. Yes, you heard me right. It doesn't matter what setting you're in. You need to let your personality shine through because that's what gets people intrigued. Anybody can go up and present a PowerPoint. Anybody can go share information, but only you can share you and your personality. And that's what makes presentations less boring because you are putting, putting your personality behind all of this. You're not just sharing the numbers, being boring like every other person does where they pull up PowerPoint on Teams or they're in the meeting room and they pull it up on the screen and they literally look at the screen or they read the PowerPoint word for word. You're interjecting your personality into it to liven up 
that subject. And I know you have seen people do this before. And just think about how that made you feel. It probably made you feel a little bit better. You were laughing because of how maybe they're a little quirky or maybe they're not that serious and they're trying to be a little funny perhaps because they realize that's what people want. I'm not suggesting that you necessarily do that, but if you're trying, people can see that. People can see that you're trying to put in your effort to bring in your personality. So do that to help liven it up, but make sure that if you are interested in the subject you're speaking on, that you bring that out as well. Don't hold that back. A lot of times we go in and present and we don't want to show our interest. We want to keep everything neutral. Show your interest. And if you're not interested in it, don't show your disinterest. That's going to turn people away and that's not going to look good. But if you are interested, really share that interest and show that interest. And that disinterest, just be yourself. That's the best thing you can do right there is be yourself, show your personality, and do that to help liven up that presentation. And then bring in humor. And we just touched on this, but make sure that you bring in humor wherever you can, whether it be a meme, which is something I personally like to do in presentations, is bring in some kind of meme to be able to help people out. And I did this on a presentation where we were working through a problem. We came up with a solution for that problem. And the person that was our problem owner, I put a meme together and his name was Tim. And I don't know if you know the meme and I'll just kind of describe it for you. But this meme was where the one guy, it's almost like twins. I don't know if they're twins. I think they are in real life, but it's like he's holding the one girl's hand, but he's like, look, he looks back at the other one. And he just kind of got this face like, ooh, like, man, she's good. And so what I put was there was Tim. And then the one he was holding onto their hand was his problem. And then he's looking back at our solution. And everybody laughed at that. And it's a great way to be able to bring up a point that, hey, look, in my case, our your problem is not as good as our solution. You really like our solution. And so whatever it is, use memes, use other things to be able to bring in some humor and try and make it relatable to the subject at hand or make it relatable to somebody in the audience there, in the meeting room. It doesn't have to necessarily be the subject that you're speaking on. But if you can make it about the subject you're speaking on, that's even better because it helps create emotions in people, which is humor, which is making them connect back to what it is that you're trying to teach them, which is a great way to get people to remember the information that you've given them, but also livens up the presentation and livens up the room. So use that humor. And last thing, tell stories, stories that are relatable to it or a story that you can pull out something there at the end. If you have this great story that you talk about and it can have nothing directly to do with it, but the ending and the takeaway from that story does relate to what you're talking about. Bring that in as well. People want to be entertained at the end of the day. And if you have a boring presentation, nobody's going to want to listen to that. So find a story. It doesn't have to be funny. It can be serious, whatever that may be. Going back to that problem, what, what we did at the beginning of the presentation, we didn't necessarily tell a story, but we kind of put this story into people's heads is there was shoulder injuries happening based on this process in the production line. And so what we did at the beginning was we asked the question, how many of you take work home with you? And pretty much everybody raised their hand. And then we went on to say, unfortunately, some people have to take work home with them. And it's not on their phone. It's not on their laptop. It's due to a workplace injury. And then we went in and talked about what the problem was, the literal problem on the line, what the safety concerns were. And then we gave the solution behind that. But we started with a small little story that was relatable to everybody because everybody takes work home, especially leaders and managers. They take work home on a daily basis. But the people that work on the line, they end up taking work home through injuries. And that's a scary thing. That's something we don't want to see in the manufacturing environment. And so we brought that little story out. And it was just a little story just to make you think and realize that, oh, wow, some people 
have to take that work home. Sometimes it is a have to for us in leadership, but also sometimes it's just a, a want to. You want to continue to work. You've got something you want to finish up at the house, but you didn't have to finish it at the house. But then you got people that don't want to take work home, but they have to through injuries or whatever that may be. And so we wanted to bring that to light. So we told that story. But whatever your story may be, tell that story that's a takeaway that people can understand and relate back to that story within the subject matter that you have in your presentation. But let me review and give you a little recap of what those things are that can help you be better at presenting on a boring topic. Start with the why. If you know why you're presenting, that's going to help you be more excited and more engaged in your speech. Number two, share your personality. And if you can, be interested in the subject that you're speaking on as well, but really share that personality so people can get a little bit livened up and they can relate more to you because you're sharing yourself and not just the subject matter. Bring in that humor. Make people laugh. Create emotions in them to be able to understand the data, but also have a little break from feeling like they're being serious and they have to listen to just the data. And finally, tell stories. Facts tell and stories sell. So make sure you're telling those stories so that people can relate to your data even more. And that's how you can spice up any presentation. And if you got any value out of this episode today, please leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel because without you, I can't continue to grow this channel and I can't help more people with public speaking and communication skills. But guys, go out there and fire up the mic and subscribe below.